What's up? This is Moy from Tomorrow's Bad Seeds. We're in beautiful Hermosa Beach, California. This is my hometown, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Redondo, but the Tri-City Beach State right here is what I like to claim as my domain. We're playing at Patrick Malloy's right over here. That's 50 Pier Avenue. I've been knowing that address for a very long time. First time we ever played at Patrick Malloy's was probably, shoot, maybe like 17 years ago. And um, we played there a lot of times, but I'll tell you a cool story. It's not that cool, but it's pretty cool. And Fred knows about it too. And Jane knows about it if Jane sees us. But, uh, so we had never really gotten paid big money to play any shows around here. We were doing a lot of shows for $100, $50, you know, $150 bucks at the Lighthouse, all over the place. When Malloy's offered us $1,000 for a show, you know, for a free show. And we we're like, well, that's the first time we ever got paid anything like that. And uh, so we'd by, you know, we'd been partying down here the whole week, having a good time before the show, promoting it and everything. And uh, I don't know if you know anything about Tomorrow's Bad Seas, but we're an old school graffiti crew from back in the day, TVSK. And uh, Mets got caught tagging in the bathroom by Fred, blacked out, just like, Turned around, looked at Fred, and was like, psh, 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 just riding. And the cops got called. He almost went to jail. And Jane saved his ass. Jane was like, No, 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 it's cool. We'll take it. We'll take care of it. And so I had a meeting with Fred the next day. I was like, Look, we're fucking paying you guys, you know, X amount of dollars. You guys come in here, vandalize our, our, our spot. I'm like, I'm so sorry, Fred. We'll make it up to you. Whatever I do, he's like, Why well, don't you guys gotta fix it? So the next day, we bought some paint. Went and fixed it, and we never got paid that thousand dollars ever for that show. They did pay us very well after that, but for that show, we called it even. We uh, we painted the spot, left it nice how it was, and it was good to go. There was a band called Short Fuse I used to love because of the homies, but like STDs, you know. I mean, everybody loved Black Flag, and definitely Pennywise is one of my favorites for sure. Other local bands, you know, but uh. When I was growing up, was like I went to see a lot of short few shows because they were in school with me at the same time and No Control too. Those are the bands that I was going to watch, but I wasn't really playing music. I was kind of shy back then. I wasn't into it, but you know. But if you're talking about like you know other bands like Descendants or the Deviates, the Deviates are a freaking rad band from here. There's a lot of good punk bands. I'm so gonna be heading out in the Pacific Northwest with uh, Tunnel Vision, Pacific Roots, and a band from Guam called The John Dank Show that's currently on tour right now with Eric Rachmani from Revolution doing an acoustic tour across the nation. They're gonna be jumping on, but we hit pretty much all the way along the coast and circle back down and come back down through Idaho. And we'll be at One Love in Long Beach. Um, we're super stoked to be here. We always do these kind of secret last minute shows at Malloy's. We've been doing them for the last 15, 17 years. We're gonna continue doing them after we do our other shows. So if you guys feel like you miss out on any other shows, we will always do a local show down here on the pier so you guys can make sure you come check us out. Thank you.